Well, hello and welcome to this second uh, introduction to uh, Venn diagram or Venn diagrams, and it's a typical IGCSE GCSE mathematics question here. And it says uh, we've got a universal set which consists of um, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. L J one I two O two O three U nine. Okay, and we we'll also get subsets of X, which has elements A E I O two, and then subset W, which has elements B J F L E G three, and then subset Z, which has elements. B L C D I O U nine, and then he says, express this information in a Venn diagram. Okay, now wh what I then do is to draw my universal set of U with a rectangle. Okay, and now examine uh, the elements in X and. The elements in W. So when I compare both sets, I can see they got nothing in common, so they do not intersect. And then compare um, sets X and set Z, and I can see they got certainly they got I and O in common. Right, which means that set X and set Z do intersect. And now examine set W and set Z. And I can see they do have uh, some elements in common, so they do they do intersect. And I draw my uh, my X sets X, W and Z in my Venn diagram. And that's what's what I got. Okay. Now I'm going to fill in the elements common to X and Z in here. O I L D B and now I'm going to look at elements that are peculiar only to X and we have two A E and if I count I've got five elements in here and if you look at the set X on top we also got five elements here, so that's okay. Now in here, I'm going to fill in elements that are peculiar only to Z. And for that I have U, 9, and C. And if I count, I've got eight elements there in Z. Eight in Z. And if I count in here, I've also got eight elements in Z. So we're done. For well, elements just peculiar to W, I have three J and F, and one more. Oh yes, and then G. Now, if I count in here, I got 15. And if I count my universal set, I got 17. And I can see that I got 1 and H missing. So my 1 and H are going to be in here. And 
we're done. Next slide. Okay, now it says uh, in the Venn diagrams below, shading, so we're going to have the Venn diagrams first, and this is what we got. Then it says uh, shade in A prime, and then A prime intersection B, and then A prime intersection B prime. Right. Now, for the first one, uh, we want A prime. In other words, we want to shade in everything not in A, but which means around A, the universal set, which includes B as well. So A prime will be all of these. So that's A prime. Right. Now for A prime intersection B, this is an A prime. I want to find out what this A prime has in common with B. Yeah. So we end up with this one here. Because B is common to A prime and B, so they intersect. So that's what common to A prime and B, this one here. Yeah. And for the third one, uh, we want to find A prime. Now, firstly, A prime is this one here. All of the shade in it, that's A prime. Okay? And it says A prime intersection B prime. So we don't want to have B either. We don't want A, we don't want B. So we end up with this one here. Okay. Now, I hope all that made some sense. And please, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.